Howdy folks, I'm Endymion for the Dork at Arms, etc. <clears throat> and I have a quick review, or as quick as I can make it, though viewers will know that I'm a bit verbose, of the Rockwell Classical Foil. So for those of you who don't know, I started out in classical fencing, <clears throat> studying foil and saber. And I started off with a French grip foil, and let me just grab my French grip for quick reference. Movie magic! This is my French foil here. This is the first piece of fencing equipment I ever owned. It is from Alliance Fencing. This is the Rockwell Classical Foil, and it is the classical Italian style grip. So you'll notice the shape of the actual grip, the sizes and length in the pummel, <clears throat> and most importantly, the access to a proper ricasso, or in this case, what is known as a false ricasso, uh, with some nice finger rings and some very short quill, quill, quillins. Uh, this piece, this false Ricasso piece, is separate from the disc guard, but nevertheless, the disc guard is fairly standard size. <coughs> Sorry, dealing with a little bit of a cold. <coughs> Just as we get into spring, too. Always annoying how colds work. But this is really great. The shape of this grip here makes me grip my French grip foil like this. And, you know, that's pretty comfortable. That's how I learned, you know. It's very illustrative for the idea of cradling the foil in your hand like a baby bird, which is a bit of the oral tradition in classical fencing. And then this is roughly how you this is roughly how you grip, just had to adjust the mic, this is roughly how you grip a classical Italian foil. You're just pinching up against the inside of the discard and the corner of the uh, finger grip, the ricasso meeting the quill, and then you're just pinching on top of the ricasso. And this lets you have a lot of dexterity with your first three fingers, and that's all you need to make an effective cavazione or disengage. Disengage in time, whatever action you need to. Um, as you might be able to see, there are one or two flaws in the hilt. Very, very small. The blade is just a normal foil blade. Uh, looks like it's from Absolute Fencing. So when you go to Rockwell for one of these, it's mostly for having a true to goggler style grip. Of course you wear a glove with this. I really enjoy using this. I, again, started out with a French grip. So that got me to grip it gently, to grip my foil with an emphasis on dexterity rather than strength. And, you know, they are the same length, the pummel is slightly longer, and it's a solid, smooth pummel so that you can uh, tie the pummel into your wrist, just so that, you know, as a training implement, you keep the point of the foil to your elbow as a single, solid line, even when going, at times, into your low guard parry of secondo to prima, here if you want to do the saber but it's very good the one thing that I would change is that if you look carefully the hilt is actually slightly canted so that the blade comes down and you can see it tilts slightly inward this is kind of more natural fitting to the wrist and the hand um, I'd prefer something that's just slightly more true to form of a historical uh, sort of late rapier or a small rapier, the Officer's Spada, which you can also get at Rockwell. I'll put a link in the description, actually. But I really enjoy this. I think it's very useful, and I think learning classical fencing uh, provides terminology and pedagogy and uh, just the right kind of lessons, particularly not death-gripping your sword. That's something that uh, I've had to apply for my longsword stuff. So, this is the Rockwell False Ricasso Italian Foil, and Diamond E-Man for the Dark Arms, etc. 
like if you like this, subscribe, subscribe if you want more, and I'll put the link in the description for this, and you can go explore more top quality products at Rockwell Fencing. I'm not sponsored, but I like them.